My name is Kain from the Tech Pro, and today we are going to continue from where we stopped in Spring Security. What we are trying to achieve is to be able to fetch username and password from MySQL database. And we've come a long way. We have 10 steps to follow, and at this point, we follow, let's say, about six of them. And I'm also sorry, I'm trying to maybe not go serially uh, step by step. This is because I need to make the application uh, connect logically. So we don't configure SQL database, we don't ensure necessary dependencies, create user entity, create user detail service, create the repository. Now we are going to create a class that implements user details. The reason is because user detail service is an interface and we can't return it as a new user detail service. That is at this point. Uh, in the user detail service, we cannot return new user detail service. So we are going to create a class user principle that implement user detail service and this class will be necessary will be responsible for creating new user principle which actually technically is also user details but since uh, we can't uh, instantiate uh, user details uh, user details here we need to create this user principle so let's just create a new class user principle um, I would like to create this class in the models package. Models, uh, models package. I think I call it models. Or model. I can't remember exactly. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, this is it. Okay, it doesn't show up. So if I browse, you can see model. Okay, so let's leave it at that. So I'm going to say finish. So this class now is going to be responsible for creating a new user right uh, so you can see that this class implements user details that is perfectly okay and this class since it implements user details it gives us whole lot of those stuffs whole lot of methods that we can use to work with uh, user credentials for instance it's enabled it's not expired it's not locked is account expired so with this class you'll be able to configure password expiration, account lockouts, and stuff like that. But what we are interested in is the get username, is for it to give us the username and the password. Meanwhile, let's just set all these forms to true, uh, because for now we are just doing uh, a demo. So let's just leave the account open, uh, kind of. <laughs> let's not lock out anybody uh, in this demo, and let's not expire the account. So let's set everything uh, the truth. Okay, so um, now one thing we need to do is to be able to create a new user from here. So, um, so we can try to add a constructor that's a constructor that let's say let's try to add a constructor source and say new constructor that creates a new user so that it can return a new user for us generate constructor so there are no fields for constructors so let's create a new field so let's say private oh, private user user all right so private user user so this is fine all right so at this point we can go ahead to add a constructor so let's see Let's just say source and um, let's go to generate constructor using fields. Yeah, just one field. So, so what is going to happen is this class is going to take a user object from gotten from the database and create a new user details for us, which is actually a new user principle, uh, but also a user detail because the reason is because this class user detail service returns a new user all right a new user detail which is now user principle so at this point i'm going to save but then we need to set uh get the username and password um this point so we're going to say return user dot get password and in this case we are returning user dot get uh, username. Okay, so um, so I think we are pretty much done, um, except that we need to 
talk a little about authority. Authority simply means rules. Remember that Spring Security provides not just authentication, but also authorization. So we need to, you can actually skip this step, but I actually like to include it. You need to return the roles available or the roles you want to create. So we want to create certain roles. For now, we want to create, let's say we want to create a user role. So to create a user role and return it, I simply say collection uh, dot return collection dot singleton list, the singleton list or the singleton, okay, the singleton uh, new sample grants granted authority authority now we are just trying to work with only one single authority and that will be a role just call it role sometimes this can be a little confusing simple granted authority comes from this package of the framework the security that core that authority okay so good so we are also getting the roles uh, together with the user user uh, details all right I think we are okay so what have we done? Can we just do a quick recap? We've configured MySQL database, mm -hmm. where we created or uh, configured MySQL database in external SQL server we installed. We ensured the necessary dependencies was added in our pump and XML. We created a user entity, uh, we call it user, as you can remember, this class, annotated it with an entity annotation as ID. And since we have a model or an entity, we also uh, need to create a repository. So we actually jumped to step six and created a repository. Now the repository, to access the repository, you need a service. So we created a user details service. So this user details service, uh, I call it my user details service right here. And this user details service gives us a method that returns user details. But since we can't return a user detail object, we need a class that uh, implements user details so that we'll be able to return our user details. So in that way, we now created a new user principal class, and that is step what? Step seven. So now we've completed one, two, three, four, five, six, six. And seven, yeah, we created a repository. So what we are going to do now, what we are going to do now is to now work on the authentication provider. So this authentication provider, we are going to work on it uh, from the app.config file. Yeah, so this is where we are going to be working at this point. Well, let's, let me see, did we forget anything? Okay, finally, let's annotate this service class with add service annotation. Yeah, so that it will be able, we can, it can be used as a, a Bioto wired into other classes. All right, so. So I'm going to stop here. I'll, I'd like to remind you, take some time to go through it step by step. Uh, you find out that if you do it a couple of times, it becomes clearer to you. I'd like to stop here and remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And free, feel free to like my video and also leave me a comment in the comment box below. So we'll see you in the next class.